this is Dr. Stanzi and I am talking to you from Ultimatum in Denver. So Ultimatum is a week-long program with Donnie Epstein. He's the guy that created Network Spinal Analysis and he teaches um, in depth about the different energetics that influence our lives and our health and he teaches you how to strategic, strategically use those energetics to really show up at a higher energy state, to be more resourceful, abundant, and show up in an extraordinary way. It's amazing. And then he does an energetic technique, which is different from network, and so you get these sessions with him throughout the week, and they are just amazing. I mean, you experience such a huge amount of energy in your body and you get to completely shift patterns in your body and your life that just are holding you back from being extraordinary. So I want to share with you a little bit of wisdom of what from the seminar and uh, I can only share with you a few things right now but I'll try to make some more videos throughout the throughout the week and when I get back to practice next week I'm sure I'll be bringing it up all the time during the entrainment so please come in and soak it up so what is it that helps you or that creates the extraordinary life well it's not from your certainty or your stability or having the perfect job or the perfect spouse or the dream home right it's the having an extraordinary life is <clears throat> based on um, experiences that are not ordinary so stepping out of your comfort zone and experiencing something novel and um, sh it's going to require a higher energy state so to have an extraordinary experience or extraordinary life you have to claim a higher energy state to allow for that to happen and it might it also means that you have to claim the life you must live. So a lot of times we say, oh, well, I should do this, I should do that, or I, I should do this, but I can't because of this. And we have these limiting stories and beliefs, and it drops us down to a lower energy state to keep us comfortable, right? It's safe to know, oh, well, I would like to do that, but I have this story, so I'm not going to do it because that's a safer way to go, right? So to really have an extraordinary life you're going to have to claim this life that you must live you have to claim your calling instead of avoid it in fact you will end up with more pain and suffering the more you avoid your calling in life and so claiming that higher energy state listening to the calling and um and also noticing are you efforting all the time if life is a struggle and you're always efforting, then it's a sign that you need to try something else because life naturally works, right? There's a natural order to how things work. There's a natural order so to how you became a person and how you are today. So if you listen and or feel or notice how your life is flowing, if it's always like you're fighting a, a battle, then maybe it's time to change it up. Maybe something isn't working for you. Maybe you're not using the right energy resources. And um, so that's part of it. Another thing is asking different questions. How often do we focus on, you know, oh, what do I need to get through the day? What are, what's my to-do list? Um, or what are all the things that are wrong? What happens if you focus on all the things that are right? Um, what if you start your day, your morning ritual with how can I optimize today? How can I show up with more love today? How can I um, make this day extraordinary? How would that change what you do for the rest of the day? So anyway, these are just a few things out of lots and lots of information that I've received over this um, week so far. And uh, I look forward to sharing more with you, but hopefully just these little tidbits will inspire you and maybe other people that you um, interact with. And um, that's it for now. So I will talk to you soon and have a blessed, beautiful day. See you at the studio next week.